Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. Hey Ember. Hello. So I'm filming this in the morning, hopefully, you know, maybe I'll get it edited and scheduled before I have to leave later. But Goo and I are going to a surprise party. So that'll be fun. But it's quite a drive away. It's like an hour and a half. So you get to spend some time in the car. Yay. <laughs> but anyways, for today's video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at Let's Cook. October 19th, 2016. So our girl was all like, well, I don't know when I'm going to be posting next. And then the next, <laughs> the very next day she uploaded. 224,000 views. Wow. 1.8 thousand thumbs up. So this is a, uh, this is definitely a more popular video, I guess. But yeah, I guess let's not waste too, too much time with it, guys. And I think we'll do the next video as well, because it's only like three and a half minutes long. So might as well. Hope you guys are having a great start to your week. I know it's Monday morning. Boo. <laughs> But I hope you guys are having a great day. And yeah, let's just dive right in, shall we? Hello, you guys. Uh, hey, Amber. Today is October 19th. So I figured instead of doing like a full vlog in like one day, which, you know, that's a possibility. Sorry, you can't see my face. <laughs> um, there are a few YouTubers who actually gave me the thought of like having a few days in one vlog. It really just depends on how long. You're telling me that this is the first time she's considered this? Girly. The video is, um, because I feel like my day is not filled enough with adventure to really, I don't know, continue making full, like, long- Girl, you're damn right about that. Vlogs for you every day. So we'll see how that works. I'm packing my lunch for work. She found a way around having to, like, actually go out and do stuff for her videos because that's what most vloggers do they will find stuff to do for their videos amber <laughs> just finds way to make it look like she's doing things i have some wheat thins that i eat with my tuna i have some cottage cheese with pepper i have a fiber one bar this has been my lunch pail for i can't even tell you how long i've had it in here for like a week and i've never eat it but i still have it in, in there same with these almonds i just eat a couple of days i don't like them very much but i don't want to waste them they're the vinegar and salt almonds and i've had this nut of butter in there for a few days too like i'll pack stuff and not even eat it for some reason girl for some reason i really don't believe that <laughs> but who knows I'm at work i haven't really enjoyed i mean the healthier things i believe she's not eating but in there i don't know it's been it's been strange let me tell you and then i've had a dr pepper in there for two days like what like yesterday at work all i ate was this alls like i had it still in my lunch pail and i have to throw it away but this is all i ate and then you went out to eat and probably binged later on too so i don't know why i don't i don't know but anyways um i have to go to work Here's a little mini outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this sweater that I got from Target. It is so comfortable. I'm obsessed. This. Oh, she feels so dainty in that. Diamondy gold necklace. I either got this from Walmart or Charlotte Rose. Necklace from ooh, Charlotte Rose, I think. Probably, girl. I don't know why I hate jewelry or anything really that mixes silver with gold. I think it just looks so tacky. Things from Walmart. And my hair's on a bun as per usual. Okay, yeah. so I will see you guys. <laughs> later as per usual shoes of the day the same fucking worn out stretched out flats honestly she'd be better with a pair of crocs than these fucking things so i'm gonna drink some of this white grape this has been in my fridge for so long it's probably like no longer sparkling water because you know how sparkling water is like carbonated it's <laughs> yeah that's kind of why it's called sparkling amber good job <laughs> not like that anymore but <laughs> i don't want to waste it Okay, I know this is gonna sound so dumb to some people, but I've never been so excited for something in my whole life. Thursday, it's supposed to rain, like a lot. <laughs> I feel like it hasn't rained. And I'm looking at the clouds and it's like, there's kind of a darker one right there. So I feel like it's coming soon because it's Wednesday, yay. Gosh, dude, seeing her like actually outside, it's just such a trip. Hey guys, so I just got home. I'm gonna be cooking. I'm gonna make soup. Goulash? I don't even know. Just a mixture. Girl, ew. <laughs> Just by the sounds of it, I'm already turned off. A bunch of crap. 
in a pot. Like so far in here, I just have water and some chicken broth, low sodium. Here is chicken sausage. It I'm surprised she's just not boiling at all. The al fresco sweet Italian style chicken sausage. I'm gonna cut up two onion, two potato, and I will show you guys the next step. So I have my potatoes and onion in there. And as you guys know, I am a crazy person. So I'm gonna add some. Just boiled onions, dude. Ew. Small shell pasta. I did not use the whole box because I also want to add some rice. This is Girl. royal blend with chia. Okay, so this is when my crazy self comes. Oh yeah, so crazy, girl. So fucking crazy. I wish that, like, I don't know. I don't know. I wish she would maybe go to some cooking classes. Like, fuck, that could really benefit her. I wish instead of doing Freshly or whatever the fuck she got, those, like, pre-packaged microwave meals, I wish she had got, like, HelloFresh or something. Like, a company that sends you the ingredients and shows you how to make something. She could be doing so much to actually help out her fucking degrading mental, like, cognitive abilities, but she's not going to try. They're like, Amber Lynn, why do you use sriracha in everything? Why do you use ketchup? Okay, I read a comment, someone was like... That, that, like, why would you put ketchup into a fucking soup? You nasty, nasty troll. Ugh. I need to poke this or something. And I, I don't know, she might not put ketchup in this one, but in one of her last videos where she showed us her disgusting slop soup, she put ketchup in it. Like, what the fuck, dude? She's literally like when you're a little kid in the kitchen, unsupervised, and you're just like making potions and like cocktail shit in a pan, and it's the nastiest, most vile, unedible shit you've ever seen in your life. That's Amber's cooking. Hold on. Someone was like, does she use ketchup on everything? You know, the really funny part is, I don't use it on anything, but when I make, like, weird things like this, that is the only time, like... That's I disgusting, dude. That's fucking disgusting, Amber. God damn. She's not quirky. She's just fucking weird. Like, she's weird and gross. Um, I don't use it on uh, fries. Nothing, like, where you think I would be using it. Yeah, you use everything in your life wrong, Amber. That's you and that's you through and through. You use utensils in your life wrong. You use electronics wrong. You use clothes wrong. You wear them fucking backwards. You use people wrong. Like, just everything in Amber's life is wrong. <laughs> because I'm just... Also, you guys have like this cute little hanging thing up here. You could hang some plants. Right there, right in front of a window. Plants in the kitchen, dude. Fucking beautiful. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> Weird like that. Okay, so I'm going to be adding sriracha. I'm sorry you guys can't see. I put a lot. I must be going for some spicy hot. I'm going to add some Bragg's liquid aminos. If you guys don't know what this is, this is the healthy alternative to soy sauce. This has less sodium in it, and it's all-purpose seasoning from the soy protein. So just a little bit of that. She doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. Here comes the ketchup. Yo, oh, that's funny. dude. No, it's not funny. It's fucking disgusting, dude. I'm going to add some minced garlic. So what, you just like the taste of watery ketchup? What the fuck? I am obsessed with garlic. Garlic is so good. Oh my god. Again. I'm Italian, so I'm not gonna rag anyone for our, their garlic use, but like garlic with ketchup, dog, fucking for real. I don't measure anything. Obviously. I just throw and go. <laughs> yeah, you're a pump and dump kind of girly, aren't you, Amber? Sorry for the little bit of mess in the sink. I'm gonna add tons of pepper. So we might be sitting here for a minute. <laughs> so how was your guys' day today? It was honestly going all right until I sat down to film this video. <laughs> Down in the comments below, I'm the pepper queen. So I said at the beginning of this vlog that I'm going to like do a bunch of days in one vlog, but I just tend to vlog too much. So this is going to go up as it's... Yeah. Yeah, that's your issue, Amber. You vlog too much. So there will be comment of the day at the end of this. And I'm going to do a little bit different than I used to. See, look at how much pepper I... <laughs> Pepperminia, yes. Bless. Bless this girl. God, Destiny must be upstairs just trying to, like, catch a fucking break from listening to this girl's mouth 24-7. Okay, just a little bit of salt. A little bit of 
the garlic powder. I don't really need it, so. I put the Girl, you don't need any of this, to be honest. Go home and drink a glass of water and call it a night. I'm going to use a little bit of basil. Look at how cute. How's that cute? I don't even know. I really hope. Oh, this is a grinder. Slay oh me. God. I still have never used this before. That's why I wasn't sure. <laughs> um, I'm going to use some parsley. I just recently bought these. Oh my god, it smells so good in here. Picky Destiny comes in here and goes, wow, it smells so good, so I'm gonna use so much. Yeah, I bet. All the Italian seasoning with ketchup. Good, good fucking god. Can Gordon Ramsay, like, hop into one of these and fucking tell us what he thinks? Italian. Someone send him this on TikTok or some shit. Um, for the chicken sausage, it is already cooked, but I like to cook it up more. I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes and green chilies. Bruh. I'm not gonna what is the flavor profile of this fucking soup? You have some Asian influence, Italian, and now we're going like Spanish Mexican. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Around the world with Amber's soup. <laughs> It's like if there was one Epcot pavilion that was all of the countries in one <laughs> and they just handed you a bowl of slop. <laughs> oh, I don't really... Tomatoes are alright, so that's how much I used. I'm gonna add some corn. Girl, you might as well just use the whole damn can. I love corn in my concoctions. Bro. Thankfully, this is gonna be my dinner for the... I'll be honest with you guys, the shit she was whipping up during the Becky era looked fucking better than this. What the fuck is she making? Like next five nights. And possibly my lunch. But I'm okay with that. Um, okay, so sausage has been cooking long enough, I would say. I like to get it brown. So I'm gonna add that. Oh, yes. I want you guys to enjoy the oh experience. My God. Oh, yeah. She's like, oh, she is fucking flicking the bean to this one. Of me stirring this all, so there you go. Ready? <laughs> wow. Yo. I wish I had some spinach to go in here. Mm. Or some kale. Something. Look at that. Amber, that looks like fucking disgusting, dude. Oh my god, fuck off. Smells amazing in here. Yo. I also wish I had some minced cauliflower. Minced cauliflower, okay. What are you doing? Huh? Huh? Are you gonna talk? Oh, you were just talking, now you're gonna walk in? <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, yeah. I mean, shit, at least we're actually seeing her, like, bend over and interact with her animals. If you guys want to get to know me and Destiny a little bit more, here's one of our bad habits. Shoes are thrown. Girl, we know. You've shown that before. Literally just a few videos before this. Fucking amnesia Lynn. <laughs> Where they belong. Not really. So, as my food is cooking, it's almost done, but there has been a wonderful show that has graced our presence. Have you guys ever seen Miranda Sings? If you haven't, then I don't even- Oh, what an interesting fucking uh, development that is. The thing is, she's 20-something years old. I didn't even think Miranda Sings was fucking funny when I was in middle school. Like, I have never found her to be funny. I don't know how she got to be so popular. Other than, like, brain-dead ass people like Amber just love to consume her content. Like, I really don't understand the hype around her. I don't really give a fuck, to be honest. Oh, um, she's a YouTuber. I am on... Pause it. <laughs> I am, um... On episode 6 of her Netflix original TV show, I honestly can't even believe it. It's called Haters Back Off. I honestly feel like before you watch the show, you need to kind of sort of watch her on YouTube first to understand, like, her character and who she is because the show is so fucking funny. Girl, I really don't think it is. Excuse my language. Honestly, it is a great laugh and you're just questioning your life as you're watching it. But it's wonderful. Yeah, I highly doubt that, Amber. Imagine fucking Miranda Sings is what makes Amber all introspective. There's only eight episodes in this season, and I'm so sad because it's the only season on here, so... I don't so know. sad, I and it's going to be the only fucking season, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, to tell you guys I hate it when YouTubers try to move on to bigger, better things. Like, I'm sorry, but 
there's a very, very limited number of YouTubers that I think could actually go on and do things outside of YouTube. I think when you do it for such a long time, especially like this Miranda bitch did, like, you just get into such a groove and such a routine that, like, the way you present yourself is entirely YouTube, you know? Like, there's usually just such a disconnect when YouTube people go to, like, acting or whatnot. Like, it just doesn't translate. Just because you need to watch it, so let go. Maybe if I teach you some magic. Why don't you teach me real magic? Oh, well, there's an oh Amber stealing content from Netflix. Come on, girly. Magic isn't real. It's not. Okay. So, whoa! <laughs> it's been doing its magic for a while now. Yeah. Like when you put a lot of stuff in something, the I would not call that magic, girl. Starts to go down a bit. Amber, yeah, it's also mostly water, so it all evaporates. Fucking fourth grade science, Lynn. I swear to God, dude, she didn't even fucking go to school. But that is to be expected, so I am ready to eat. And I do like my onion in big chunks because I love onion. Yes. I wish Destiny would try this. <laughs> Girl, good on her. <laughs> good on her for being like, I'm not fucking eating that shit. Okay, so it's common at the daytime. Uh, the first one is from Naomi Bianchi said, Dear Amber, I want to apologize. I'm sorry for words that have been said or comments that have been made that have offended you. You're a very beautiful person inside and out, and I respect the fact that you came back. It says a lot about your character. I wish you and Destiny the best. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. I'm happy I'm back, and I just hope... Yeah, we're all so, so happy and thankful that our girl is back. <laughs> the people who have left me mean comments in the past can just kind of figure out what's going on within themselves so they can stop spreading negativity because negativity is not is girl girl this was at the time where it wasn't just negativity like you know people calling her fat and whatnot it was her actually getting criticism and not being able to fucking take any type of accountability but that's what it's always been with amber truly the way to live really that's like the only thing i can say about it but thank you so the next comment is from gar2357 she said you were missing the money hun that's why you came back haha -ha. um no <laughs> um i still get paid on youtube if i stop uploading because it's all about how many views you're getting and a lot of people were watching videos that I already have up so it's awesome it's a constant stream of in income i'm super grateful for but even if i didn't have youtube i have an it's just awesome amazing job that pays very well and girl that you're probably gonna quit soon like it's gotta be soon it's gotta be extremely happy for that um i do not do youtube for the money i've tried to explain that several times i make you girl you do now you do now a thousand percent she makes it pretty well known that she does not like having to interact with people on youtube and she doesn't like having to come on and make a fool out of herself for money but that's what she's done to herself so like i have no sympathy videos because i thoroughly enjoy it and i'm not gonna let other people's opinions about me take away one of my passions in life that's you only live once babe you let that happen every single day and you still let that happen okay no matter how fucking stupid that scratch our bullshit was if you actually enjoy doing it, then still do it. You don't have to show people because obviously, like, we don't get it or whatever. But if it makes sense for you, then just keep it up. Just don't show it. But that's the thing. She shows that she's doing something. She gets shit for it because that's the internet and that's the audience that she has fostered. And hello, she fucking doesn't have a backbone and just lets everyone decide what she does. And if you enjoy doing something, do it. So that's why I came back to YouTube. And plus the crazy amount of love I got from all of you. Like, what? Like, hello. Love you guys, too. Next comment. <laughs> like, what? Oh, my God. That's so crazy. Is from Rachel Ortiz. Amber Lynn, everyone said you'd be back. Please don't get cocky or it'll all go down the same. I'm the farthest oh. from cocky. Like yeah, sure thing, girly. Sure thing. You're the furthest thing from cocky. Yeah. If there's one thing Amberlynn is known for, it's for how humble she is. Oh my god. I really, truly am. Um, 
I'm sorry if I came off that way. Like, it makes me feel so weird because I'm so far from cocky. It's just like... Well, you don't really get to decide that. That's the thing, Amber. When someone says, like, you're being cocky, you're being arrogant, you know, you're being pretentious. If someone says that, that's their interpretation of how you're being. That's their interpretation. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with you because it's their interpretation. If that's how they want to interpret things, then let them. But if you're going to allow it to affect you, if you're going to allow your YouTube comments, words to affect you like the same way of actual friends would. Like, I don't care if someone on YouTube comments and thinks I'm pretentious or arrogant or cocky. I don't care about that. I care a bit more if someone in my direct life tells me that. And then I'll step back and be like, okay, I hear you. I don't necessarily see what you're saying but i hear you like you know it's that fucking easy dude just to like take some accountability and not be a total fucking dickhead it's kind of like a tv show like if there's a tv show on air and like no one's enjoying she loves to she loves to talk about how she's like a tv show her life is like a tv show so that she can feel special or something and then she turns around and is like guys this is my life okay it's not a show like well, girl, you fucking treat it like it is. So how is anyone else supposed to treat it? And people are just saying negative things about it, like the TV show is going to be taken off the air. And that's kind of like... Well, babe, <laughs> I mean, eventually it will be. There's no way you can keep all this up. I felt with my YouTube for a minute, like, people were just, like, really negative. Like, all the, like, really sweet people weren't showing up, you know? And I felt like, you know, if my YouTube channel isn't 100% liked or even 70% liked, that's just how I felt, you know, kind of felt in the moment. I was like, there's no reason for me to be here right now. And so I took a mental break. I <laughs> See? See, it's more so of like a punishment. If she's not getting enough support, that's a cute face, by the way. If she's not getting enough support, then that means that, you know, it's not worth it for her. It's only worth it if she's getting the praise and all that bullshit that she fucking craves so goddamn much. I mean, I guess it's probably because, like, she's not a good enough person to get it in her direct life, so she has to outsource her praise and approval to the internet. But, like, God, dude, you gotta be a real shit human being for not even the internet, <laughs> like, you know, liking you. 100% better, and it's like, cocky is definitely not the word, oh my god, it's so funny, because that's not me at all. It's um, so funny. You hear that, guys? She's laughing right in the face of people that, you know, have an opinion of her. How do I explain this? It's like when people were constantly coming at me saying how much they love me and enjoy my videos, like that made me realize I need to keep going. It definitely wasn't a cocky, cocky thing, but. Yeah, sure, Amber, sure. That's exactly what you wanted. You just wanted all of that fucking ass kissing because you were like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, me, no, 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 not cocky. So the last comment of the- Once again, not really your call to make, but go off. I love how, like, she thinks she can just negate other people's opinions. Like, girl, if you can negate other people's opinions, we can negate yours. It's an opinion of yours that you're not cocky. You can't sit there and say for a fact that you're not cocky. You're too close to the subject. Like, shut the fuck up, bias queen. It is from X plus OO. She said, I was catching up on your old videos. I'm so glad you uploaded today. Seeing you cry killed me. Girl, it's your channel, your life. Don't let it kills me too, dog, because it annoys the fucking shit out of me every goddamn time. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> Get to you. You have my support 100%. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. It means the world to me. And I'm very happy with the people who are supporting me because. I think that's what people need in life, support. Not for people to try to bring them down. Like, what is even the point? <laughs> so, I'm gonna get ready to go to bed. I hope you guys- Girl, you bring yourself down enough. This video, we don't I know have it's like the greatest. Like, I don't know. I just work. Like, I don't do much. <laughs> but still, hope you guys enjoyed it for what it's worth. And I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mm, that's the tea. You don't do much. <laughs> she was more active and happy than now. She had a job, a purpose. She liked cooking. What a difference than the current one. That was four years ago. Yeah. When it comes to her meals, I kind of get it. I was raised in a home where my dad was an addict and we had very little money and we had to become very creative and make some random ass shit. 
and it's for sure stuck with me as an adult who is financially independent and works and is financially secure. I think the same goes with her. I mean, yeah, it can create resourcefulness, but um, that doesn't excuse the absolute shit fucking mess slop that she whips up. Like, you can become resourceful and not be making, like, a complete slop-ass meal like that. She just straight up boiled onions in water. What reality is she living in? <laughs> Instead of ketchup, try using tomato paste. It will taste better and be healthier. Also, you could try using more garlic and cayenne pepper in place of sriracha so you don't have so much sodium. Also try using just one carb heavy item instead of rice, pasta, and potatoes. I'm sure you know all this, but I'm just saying it so you think about it again. I can guarantee you she didn't know all that. <laughs> she doesn't know all that. Like her brain cannot process an actual recipe. Like it just sees and dumps. These are the kinds of vlogs we want to see. Girl, what? Or boy, boy bye. <laughs> when you actually worked and did things, I mean, sure, but she didn't really do anything in this vlog. Most people can relate to that versus watching someone stay home all day and just shop. I'm the furthest from cocky. Watch her new videos now and come back and hear her say this. Too funny. Wow, what a difference. She appears much happier here. Confidence is higher and she is moving like I have never seen before. Bruh, where? She was standing cooking. Like, what the fuck? I mean, this is from four years ago, so at that point, yeah, the girl really wasn't standing too much. She still isn't, so. Pepper Queen, I thought you were the queen of moderation. <laughs> I cook just like you. I just throw stuff in a pot and let it cook. Well, Megzo, get a fucking life. <laughs> if you fry the onion and then the garlic as it gets burned easily before the broth, the soup will become much tastier. No, she likes her boiled fucking sink water. That's literally what her shit reminds me of, like, dishwater that's accumulated at the bottom of the sink. Just fucking disgusting. Suggestion, just open the pepper top and pour it in. Right, dude? Jesus, fuck. Alright, anyways, guys, let's go on to the next one. It's only three and a half minutes long, so let's see everything that Amberlynn ate today. Hey, guys, so I wanted to film a what, in, what I eat in a day video. Keep in mind, my schedule is all out of whack, so I'm not eating breakfast. It, okay, so she probably definitely filmed this video because in the last one, she was like, I haven't eaten this, I haven't eaten this, I don't eat this. I only had this one bag of chips today, guys. <laughs> Like, I guarantee you she probably got some hate about, like, the fact that she's eating way more than just that in a day, obviously. And so this is the video that she's putting up for us. I'm not eating dinner for dinner. I'm just eating what I can. So, okay. My first meal, I know this looks crazy, but I'm trying not to waste what food. The fuck? So this is a baked potato, and this is just leftovers from spaghetti that I made. This is just the sauce. It has turkey, kielbasa, onion, uh, mar Ew. Ew and chicken and then for like a little sweetness afterwards i have some strawberries okay so obviously i can't show you this as it's happening because i have to go to work i can't bring my phone inside the building etc etc so i'm just going to show you now everything that i will be putting in my mouth besides water and possibly a diet soda because i do drink one diet soda a day but water for the rest of the day oh but remember guys she didn't touch that diet dr pepper for two whole days remember oh but she only has one a day Okay, I just want to make sure I'm getting this straight, Ambie. I'm just going to show you this now. Okay, so I do- Jesus, fucking packed in there. Snacks and I do a lunch. So for my first snack, I'm just going to have this. This is for my salty craving. I have like literally less than a half of serving of cheddar ruffle chips. I have this white cheddar popcorn and some pretzels. All of this is like way less than the actual serving, so. And then also- So- but all added up together, it's more than a serving of one of those things. An apple. And then for my actual um, lunch, I'm going to have this tuna with a tablespoon of mayonnaise, some carrots, and just some wheat thins to dip into my tuna instead of using bread, whatever. I'm sure some of you think, like, well, you're using crackers. That's the same thing. But I love wheat thins. <laughs> wheat thins are good. I'm not going to give her shit for that. That is a relatively healthier meal. I just think it's gross. And for my last snack is just a chocolate rice cake. I literally thought that was a fucking burger. <laughs> what the fuck? 
That's everything. I thought she just had like a patty, like in a bag for something. Hey, okay. um, I will show you dinner and whatnot when I get. With how random this girl fucking eats, like the items that she chooses to put in her face, I wouldn't put it past her. <laughs> Okay, so I just got home from work, and this is my dinner. I literally just made this whole grain thin spaghetti with... The whole box. Classico traditional basil pesto. And the whole jar. I was going to make a chicken breast, but I've had such a long day. I'm just going to eat this and call it a night. I think I will be back to let you... Girl, you... Sh no, you should have added some fucking protein. You should have eaten all of the protein and then gone to the noodles and, you know, not eat till you were having trouble breathing okay you guys you know for a fact she finished that whole fucking bowl and now she's going for more and with dessert oh i decided i'm gonna have dessert i'm gonna have a mint chocolate chip uh yasso and if you're wondering what that is it's these frozen greek yogurts they're <laughs> this is literally like her third time fucking explaining this to us dude oh my god good and i wish that her brain just worked a little bit fucking better so she could actually remember what she tells us i love them there's also other flavors if you guys are ever interested just go to walmart or any grocery store i'm pretty sure they have them there while i'm at it i'm gonna end this video that's all i'm going to be e eating today i might have a few uh hershey kisses and if i do i'll probably only have about four or so but I girl yeah okay enjoyed this video i know my eating is not perfect by the way i did have two bowls of the pasta so that's an issue okay yeah see girl ugh. fucking amber <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video that is an issue <laughs> see you in my next one bye yeah when you're 500 pounds at five foot something that is an issue all right it's just a bunch of supportive comments i really don't feel like like i don't know Yum. I know how hard it can be while having a crazy schedule. Documenting what you eat is a good thing. It can help you figure out bad habits, better routines. The bitch didn't have a crazy schedule. I mean, yeah, at least she was working, but like other than that. <clears throat> wow, what a great day of food. My wife eats the same portions and weighs 125. Shade. I truly think if you can eat like this every day and limit those I don't give a fuck days, you will lose tremendous size. The key is longevity and consistency. Girl, please. Your wife can be 125 pounds and eat like that. Don't tell Amber if she can eat like this every day. Two huge bowls of fucking pasta, dude. Piss off. You are giving me good ideas on what to eat. Keep it up, girl. Love your videos. Absolutely love your videos. You're a reason why I grew the balls to start a channel. Wrong too. I've always wanted to. Wrong too. Since high school, but never felt like I was prepared. Well, you know what, girly? You got the grammar of Amber Lynn. You're good. You can be a YouTuber. Absolutely. fucking lootly <laughs> LOL, I thought the chocolate rice cake was a burger. I'm glad I'm not the only fucking <laughs> one that's thinking that. Alright, I don't give a f fuck about these people saying oh my god i love that <laughs> anyways guys i'll get this edited and scheduled and blah 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 um i do appreciate everyone that is still subscribing on all the newbies coming in thank you guys um and I also, of course, always appreciate hearing from everyone in the comments. And yeah, I just really do appreciate all of the support, guys. So thank you so much for clicking in and watching. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought down in the comments, as usual. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.